Hey everyone, this is a quick video because I was snowed in today. You guys, it is week seven of the second quarter and we are in the Google Classroom. There is a Pear Deck, which you are well aware of. Today, we are gonna finish up any vocab sentences that need finishing. And then we're gonna move on to do some reading and some response in the new Zella site. And I want to demonstrate that for you. So um, we did the vocab on Tuesday. Please uh, finish any of the sentences that you didn't get to. And of course, here on slide number 12, please copy and paste your sentences and put them here. By the way, in the Google Classroom, you've got a document right here that has all of the descriptions to paste them into the graphic organizer part of the slides. You guys know how this is done. The learning target for the New Zella part of this week is, I understand how different economic events, changes, and trends affected the American colonies in the 1700s. This is again part of understanding causes of the American Revolution, and you're going to do this by reading three New Zella articles. You're going to annotate them, take a short quiz, and write a response to a prompt in each article. Guys, the next slide is going to just be a vocab review from the week before the break so quickly. And I mean 60 seconds. Just look at the terms from, boy, that's three weeks ago now. And draw a line between the term and whatever you think the appropriate article is. You guys, there's some context here for the articles that you're going to read. Look at the dates and places. The 1600s through the 1700s is the relative range of dates, and we're talking about Britain's North American colonies, Maine. And it's helpful to remember the three English colonial regions and how they differed economically. We wrote a paragraph on this back in November, the New England colonies, middle colonies, and Southern colonies, and how they made their living in different ways, depending upon which region they lived in. The growth and change is what's happening. The English colonies in America are growing during this time, and many people are emigrating from Europe, and slaves are being brought in to these colonies as well. So the slave population is growing, and the population in general is growing from emigration. Native population is decreasing, but there's a lot of people coming from Europe, in part because these colonies all things being equal, are not a bad place for Europeans to live. On average, people in the English colonies in America get more calories per day than their counterparts in Europe. They live longer, they have larger families, they have more opportunity to do things like own their own land. So America is kind of the place to be, at least in the English colonies, especially in like the 1700s. And then uh, one of our vocab terms from Tuesday, the Industrial Revolution, is a thing that is beginning and it is bringing about enormous changes. And this economic, the economic theory of mercantilism, that was one of the vocab terms from before the break, begins during this time and it changed trade and how the colonies were viewed by the British government. The Industrial Revolution is impacting the entire world and these changes along with this theory of mercantilism are making the british government pay much more attention to the colonies britain went from mostly leaving the colonies alone to taking more direct control over the laws and the taxes one of those catalyzing events was the french and indian war but basically it is, uh, Britain is paying a lot more attention starting with the 1760s, 1770s, and the colonists are noticing this attention and they're not appreciating it. 
Now here's the job. These instructions are also in the text set. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to go to a text set that is also linked in the Google Classroom. There's a short video you're going to watch, and this is just going to review those economic regions in the original three colonial regions. Then you're going to do a three read of the first article, which is the one that is titled The Origins of the Industrial Revolution. The first read is really a scan as opposed to reading it. You're just going to scan over the text features. You're going to look at the pictures, read the captions, look at the contextualizing information like the author, date, publication, images, so on and so forth. Read the captions, look at any charts, subheadings, any other graphics. And then you're gonna highlight the article title in blue. Hey, I tried this to, uh, on Wednesday. Highlighting the title wasn't working on, on a lot of students' computers. If that doesn't work, highlight the first sentence and then use the annotation tool that appears to predict what the article will be about. In the second read, you're going to read the article. I say try the first two paragraphs at the assigned level. And if you struggle with that, you can adjust the reading level. And I'll show you in um, Newzella. Oops. Uh, the third read, um, you're going to read it again. And you're going to highlight a section of the text in green that you think is the economic event change or trend that had an impact on the American Revolution. And then uh, write an annotation about that and then highlight a section of the text in red that you think proves that this is an economic event or trend that has an impact on the American Revolution. Then use this highlighted information to respond to the right prompt in the article. So this highlighting in um, highlighting in green and highlighting in red is for you to find evidence what you say that this impacted the American Revolution and then repeat those steps for the next article and then repeat them again for the third article my expectation is this will take us two full class periods here's another link to the text set it looks like this the same instructions are right here and then um, I didn't get them in Order. So the first one is in the middle, the origins of the Industrial Revolution. When you click that, it opens it up. Here's where you can adjust the reading level right here. And again, try reading and a couple of paragraphs. And if you're really struggling to understand, you can adjust the reading level. Um, if you are reading at this level and you're like, ah, I get it already. This is really simple. Then you can go ahead and put it on the max reading level for a little challenge. Adjust it up, adjust it down to suit you. You guys, um, the contextualizing information is largely here. Here's a caption for the picture. And then notice if you uh, highlight the title, you don't get the little option to annotate here. But if you go through and highlight the uh, sent first sentence, and I already did it once, then you'll notice here you can choose a highlight color and you can then annotate. You can write something here. And this is where you will make your prediction. Click off of it and it just stays right there. I can see that in my teacher end of Newzella and I can respond to you. When you go through and read the second time, when you're actually reading it, there's a four question quiz that's based on the reading. Please take the quiz. This is a comprehension check. And then when you go through the article and read it for the third time, that's when you will respond to the social studies right prompt. Here it is right here in a short paragraph, three to four sentences. Please name the economic event change or trend that affected Americans, that affected Britain's American colonies and explain how this affected them. When you click in here, you'll be able to type it. That's what your job is. Three articles, complete this process three times. Good luck. I look forward to seeing your work in New Zealand.